All right, so in this second video, we're gonna look at something called the degree of indeterminacy. So this is the next step. So all this is, is a fancy way of saying whether the beam is stable or unstable. So we have a really simple formula, which is degree of indeterminacy is equal to the reactions minus three times N. So R is equal to reactions and N is equal to the number of members. All right, so let's look at an example. So maybe we have, so we have a beam here and then, and then maybe we have someone standing here on the beam and he has a weight there. So we're gonna have one reaction, two reactions, three reactions, right? So we have three reactions. So our DOI is equal to three minus, and we have one, we have one member, right? So this is our member. So we have one member, we have one member, so it's three times one, and that's equal to zero. So if we have a DOI equal to zero, that means a beam is determinate. So let's have a look at another example, right? So maybe we've got a beam that's supported by a pin. So maybe we have another person just standing here and we have our reactions. So we have one and two reactions, right? So our pin support has two reactions. So we can already tell that this beam is unstable just by looking at it because this beam is gonna turn, this beam is gonna turn in this direction, right? This person's standing here and this beam will turn until maybe it hits the floor, there might be ground here, or maybe there's a wall here, it'll just keep turning. It'll keep turning till it reaches a point where it physically can't keep turning, okay? so. We can already tell, but if we use our equation, DOI is equal to two reactions minus, and we have one member, three times one, is equal to negative one, right? So in this situation, our DOI shows that it's unstable. You can't really do anything with an unstable beam, right? We can only work with stable beams. So let's have a look at one more example, one more example, just so we can understand. So we have maybe, a fixed beam and then we have a pin here right and we can have same thing someone standing here putting a bit of weight there so we're gonna have uh, we have one reaction two reactions three and then here we're gonna have one and two so our DOI is equal to five minus three times one is equal to two so our DOI is our DOI is indeterminate and to the second degree. So why is it important to understand this, right? For stable structures, we have, we have determinant and we have indeterminate. And for unstable, we can't, we don't really need to worry about those. So, so for determinant, we can go ahead and solve reactions. And for the indeterminate beams, we can't solve for reactions. We need to use a method we need to use a method of analysis. So this is a little bit more advanced and this will be stuff like the force method. This will be like um, moment distribution, slope deflection, and there's, there's more methods. But for our determinant beams, we can use our equilibrium equations. And that's what we're gonna look at in the next video.